Well, it's impacted many of us in one way or another, whether it's a family member or a friend. According to the American Cancer Society, the chance of developing cancer is one in two for males and one in three hmm. for females. A pair of local high school boys basketball coaches for both teams who happen to be brothers are facing this battle. Zachary Farwell has more on the story. There are no strangers to each other on the basketball court. The Cab Varsity Boys head basketball coach Drew Leinbach and brother St. Joe Christian head basketball coach Clayton Leinbach faced each other tonight with the special fan in mind. You know, for as much as she needs our support now, and as much as you know, we've taken things for granted, maybe in the in the you know in the early years of our lives and earlier years in her lives, you know, I, I think the support that we give her now is the exact same support that she's been giving us. The pair's mother is fighting for her life for the second time in the last two years. Shelby Leinbach was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2013. She won that battle only to face another one. Last November, Shelby was diagnosed with leukemia. Everything with her treatment is going as planned, which is good. She went through a month round of chemo uh, and got her blood counts up to a level and got her cancer down to a level that she can, um, she was able to actually, last night I went and picked her up and she was actually released from the hospital. For the second year in a row, the brothers have teamed up to help bring awareness to not only their mother's cause, but to help bring awareness to the fight many others are facing. We both have this platform uh, as high school basketball coaches to uh, bring awareness to, to such an important um, event, not only in our communities, but uh, uh, for people fighting all over the country and locally, more importantly. Fans from both schools came out to support the brothers and their mom. They plan on continuing the Pink Out Against Cancer game through the future. I mean, we'll be pretty good basketball teams yeah. if you're half as tough as she <laughs> yeah, was. So it's something to look forward to, at least at least preach to our kids that they can be tough playing a basketball game. Uh, if there are people out there like my mom going through tougher battles than any of us could ever imagine. For Fox 26, I'm Zachary Farwell. That's a great story. The brother's mother were they were they was unable to attend tonight's game, which actually is in overtime right now. It's 61 to 59, 24 seconds left, and St. Joe Christian is ahead. So good luck on that. For more, for, for more on the story, you can check out it the, in the sports section at newspressnow.com slash sports.